We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is a brand new day that God has given us. Another day to live to the fullest. Another day to press on and receive from our great and almighty God. We serve a good God and He is able to do miracles, signs and wonders in our lives. And no matter what we might be going through, no matter what the situation is, I want to tell you as a man of God, I want to send the message forward that you can put your trust in God and He will deliver you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, who has made a way for us where there seems to be no way. I tell you, my dear friend, what Jesus did on the cross guarantees your deliverance. What Jesus did on the cross guarantees your breakthrough. What Jesus did on the cross guarantees that you can receive a financial breakthrough. You can receive a financial miracle. You can receive a miracle in any area of your life. And today we'll be praying special prayers for financial miracle. And I know, I trust, I believe. As we put our trust in God, God will answer prayers. God will do what only He can do. He will intervene divinely in your life. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. He will open up the way in the wilderness and He will supply for you abundantly. He will supply all your needs. You can believe and trust in God and be rest assured and guaranteed that God can deliver you. God can set you free. My dear friend, now let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then we'll go straight into a time of prayer. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come in this place where I'm recording and in that place where my dear friend is watching. Come and lead my dear friend closer to Jesus. Touch my dear friend today and reveal truth to my dear friend. Truth concerning your word. Revelations concerning the word of God and the kingdom of God. And help my dear friend to go closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as we begin, I want you to know that God is able to supply all your needs according to His glorious riches in Christ. There is nothing that God cannot do. There is no miracle that is too big for God. There is no miracle that He cannot do in your life. As you put your trust and your hope in Him, He is able to deliver you. He is able to set you free. He is able to see you through and you can be rest assured that He will deliver you. Today as we pray, I want to encourage you, be expectant. Believe and trust God for your miracle. Believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. So in saying that, let us begin. We're going to begin by praising and thanking God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to do something mighty. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise You. We praise You and we thank You for another day that you've given us, a wonderful day to live to the fullest, a wonderful day to press on and to receive from you. We give you praise and we thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for all the opportunities that you've given us to seek you on a daily basis. Thank you for the breakthrough that you give us. Thank you that you supply all our needs and you make a way where there seems to be no way. Thank you, Lord, that even in my dear friend's life today, you are going to do something that only you can do. You are going to change my dear friend's life. You are going to change the situation. You are going to bring a change where change is needed. You will intervene divinely and you will take my dear friend up. Bless my dear friend mightily, mightily, mightily. And give my dear friend the divine boost that they need in order to make it through. Sometimes all we need is a touch from you, and that is enough to receive our breakthrough. That is enough to receive what we need to receive as we trust you. That is enough to receive our miracle. That is enough to receive the divine intervention that we need. We give you praise and we thank you for our friends, our family, and those people that you've placed around us. We give you praise and thank you for this time that we can pray together both myself and my dear friend, wherever my dear friend is tuned in, and distance and time is not a barrier for you. We give you praise and we thank you that you are omnipotent, omnipresent, and you are able to bless my dear friend 
wherever my dear friend is. You are here as I record this, and you are there as my dear friend prays along with me. You go beyond distance, and you go beyond time. There is no distance that is too long or too great for you, and there is no time that is out of your reach. You live in the past, present, and future all at the same time, and we lift up your name. Thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who guaranteed our freedom, who guaranteed our miracle, who guaranteed our breakthrough, who guaranteed our deliverance. We give you praise and we thank you for Jesus, even today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence, and I know, I trust, I believe, as we pray, God will do something mighty in your life. Believe and trust Him for your miracle today and connect in faith. As I begin to pray for you, comment and agree. And in this way, let it be a point of contact for you to receive your miracle. The Bible says where two or more are gathered in agreement, the Lord is there. And where two or more agree on a thing is touching, it shall be established. So let us agree and receive your miracle in Jesus' name. In saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend, especially in the area of finances. Wherever my dear friend needs divine intervention in the area of their finances, bring divine intervention. I pray for a financial miracle even in this time. There is nothing impossible for you. There is nothing that you cannot do. There is no distance that is too long for you. There is no miracle that is too great for you. There is no height that is too high for you. There is no miracle that you cannot do. I pray for a divine intervention in the area of my dear friend's finances. Do a creative miracle and bring the breakthrough that my dear friend desires to see. Lord, I pray, wherever the devil and his cohorts are trying to limit my dear friend, especially in the area of finances, intervene divinely and put a stop to all the attempts and the attacks of the enemy on my dear friend's finances. And I pray that you will bring financial breakthrough. Open doors of opportunity, doors of favor, abundance, and overflow. Let my dear friend overflow in all areas of their life, especially in the area of finances. I pray for divine intervention. Father, wherever the devourer is busy devouring the finances, intervene divinely. Rebuke the devourer, I pray, in the name of Jesus that the devourer will not be able to consume those things that concern your children. Father, I pray, wherever the devil is causing a lack of good financial planning and management, deliver my dear friend and set my dear friend free. Bring total and complete deliverance and see my dear friend through. Supply everything that my dear friend needs for my dear friend and my dear friend's family. Wherever there is a financial need in my dear friend's life, I pray that you will supply creatively, supply divinely, supply all my dear friend's needs. Father, I pray that you will do it. Supply all my dear friend's needs, that in everything my dear friend will lack nothing, that no good thing will be held back from my dear friend. Now concerning these finances that we are praying for, this miracle of finances, I pray that you will bless my dear friend with the blessing that makes rich and adds no sorrow. Bless my dear friend mightily, going out and coming in, that my dear friend may truly be blessed, and that the blessing that comes on my dear friend's life will add no burden, will add no hindrance, will add no limitations, will add no barrier, but my dear friend will continue going forward. Father, I pray that your anointing for breakthrough will manifest right now and bring a mighty breakthrough and a change and a turnaround in my dear friend's life. If my dear friend's business is not going well, and my dear friend has been trying all sorts of things, different plans, different ideas, and it hasn't been working, as my dear friend puts their trust in you today, let things turn around for the better. And Lord, let the finances of my dear friend turn and go in the right direction. Wherever they are going in the wrong direction, let them go in the right direction. Let my dear friend increase and not decrease. Father, release the grace that my dear friend will be the head and not the tail. Release the grace for a mighty breakthrough. 
wherever there are any evil spirits in operation that consume finances and close up opportunities. Father, I pray that you will intervene and send your fire to drive out any such evil spirits. I ask this in Jesus' name. And right now, Father, I pray for protection over my dear friend's finances, over all areas of my dear friend's life, that it shall go well. Wherever there are any holdups, remove the holdups, remove the blockages, remove all forms of stagnation, remove all forms of limitation, remove all barriers, and open my dear friend's life up to the fullest. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I apply the blood of Jesus over you and I decree and declare this deliverance that you have received today, it shall be permanent in Jesus' name. Until next time, from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.